Hello everyone, welcome back to Retro Basing with Altrius. We are playing Quake. It's been, I've got some excuses to make. It has been some time since we last played, and since we last played, we have been through the ordeal, which I will call it, whether or not you agree, of um, updating my computer, upgrading my computer, the physical hardware, not the software. The software is still, unfortunately, only Windows 10. However, I updated my computer having tested that the save game from Quake would be backed up to the Steam Cloud. I still think this is true, however, <laughs> here's the thing I didn't consider. It only gets backed up to the Steam Cloud if, the, if Steam knows that it's open. So when Steam sees the game close, sends your save files up to the cloud, so when you launch it from somewhere else, you have the file. This somewhere else, of course, includes the same computer having been reinstalled. Uh, we haven't been playing with the Steam client, but I, I only checked to see if the save game existed. I didn't see to check to see if the save game was what we expected. Fatal mistake, because it wasn't. <laughs> it was all horribly wrong and bad and terrible. Uh, so what I've done, by the way, the last time Steam saw me play the game, we were in the secret level that we found on the previous episode. I thought this seems a little bit wrong. It was a little bit wrong. Uh, it was completely the wrong episode. It was completely the wrong game. You're going to go up again? Yes. So, I god moded my way through that Whee! Um, episode. Which I think was okay, because uh, when you go between episodes, of course, it, it resets your progress. Anyway, <laughs> did you see that? I nearly lavered myself whilst talking. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about my ammo status right now, so let's just be careful. Uh-oh. Get the nins! Get the nins! Ah! That hurt. Or didn't hurt. I don't know what just happened. What just happened? Yank. No, don't let him down again. Uh, so you will have noticed... Why are you walking through the lava? You crazy, insane Knight Templar or whatever you are. Anyway, the start of this episode was discreet from the start of the, from the end of the previous episode. For that reason, I God murdered my way through the previous episode simply because we would have started again anyway, uh, started afresh from just the shotgun. But I did play the first two levels of this episode fair and square. Although I didn't go to the effort of finding all the um, HP and things, I didn't look for all the secrets. I did find a few more quad damages than I did the first way through, though, so it made it a little bit easier for me, which I kind of needed just to, you know, just to morale boost me. Do you know what? Those quad damages are extremely satisfying to use. If you do find one, go nuts. That would be my, uh, my advice to you. My professional opinion of the game Quake is that if you find a quad damage, use it. Hot takes over here. Should be easy. We've done this before. At a much ah faster rate. Didn't expect that. Well done, game. <laughs> well done to you indeed. Maybe we just use this. Tank some damage. That's fine. Don't mind that. Yeah, just chuck it down the hole. Honestly, I'm perfectly happy with you throwing grenades down the hole instead of hitting me with them. Can you please throw the grenade at the zombie so I don't have to deal with the zombie? But if the zombie deals with you, do you what? A bit confused. But that's where we are. That's the nature of proceedings right now. Do those zombies kill themselves from throwing too much goo at you? That would be great, except for the fact they keep getting up again. They knock themselves down, but they get up again. You can't keep a good zombie down. Or a bad zombie, or indeed any zombie. Unless you give them horribly. Run! Oh, ho, ho. You nearly got me, you pest. So we're back in the game. I don't know where I am and I have no idea what I'm doing, so we're very familiar with this state of affairs. Yes, good. Oh. Thought you'd done me a solid there, zombies. Nice. I mean, you kind of did. But not as solid as I wanted. Nevertheless. 
A solidus. Solidish. Not happy with this. Run. I don't appreciate it giving me the uh, wrong weapon all the time. <laughs> I'm going to conserve my ammunition and I'm pretty sure that shooting these things with the um, weak nail gun is the correct thing to do. Run. See, I keep hiding under here, but I don't need to. Coward. Bye! Yes, I do. You can absolutely feel free to freak out in a weird buggy sort of way. Don't mind the game bugging. It means I'm not cheating. <laughs> it's not my fault that it's broken. I have two weapons and neither of them is correct for what I'm about to face, which I don't know. Oh. Well, one thing we know about this place is that the only ammunition available to me is the ammunition that I already know is the wrong stuff. Those are very difficult to dodge. It's not even available because it's already fallen down. I've picked it up. Uh, do I have the silver rune key? Do I? No. I don't want to push this button because this button has an horrible face on it. <laughs> it means death is... What? Hey! Whew. What's your regularity then? Excuse me. You dunked me in the lava. Didn't appreciate that. Haven't saved it. <laughs> Obviously. That would be the correct thing to have done. Ow. What I might do is go this way first. Because I know that I'm about to face the knight of the round table over here. I'm sort of going to ignore the explodey dudes and hope that their grenades are going to assist me in the uh, destruction of this wastrel. Be gone, fiend. Great. Uh, and I might be able to just... I, I'm pretty happy with the design of these levels. I mean, I know that they're working against me, but... Put in that so that when it shoots you, it's guaranteed to follow you around the corner. That's smart gameplay. Let's do this. We had a lot of um, rockets before. So I think the correct thing is going to be to use rockets <laughs> as much as possible, which are obviously grenades as well in this context. Um... Just to make sure that we have slightly more accurate ammunition later on when we're going to need it the most. I did that. Did I just give that knight? I didn't mean to. Sorry, knight. Sorry, knight friend. Sorry, old chum. It's not very sportsmanlike of me. From one professional to another. He says, exploding himself with the weirdest ricochet grenade he's ever seen. Cool. I think we'll use uh, normal shaped ammo for now. These things don't take too many shots from one of these. Which themselves take up too many shots from my supply, so maybe it is too many shots. I don't know. Do this. Do this. Boom. Bait. Bait and boom. It's like fighting Monstro 2. Where are, where are these noises? Ooh. Do you see what I see, brain? Oh, hello. Oh, that's where all my... Um... Oops, grenades were disappearing today. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have very cleverly, and uh, with great amounts of research, figured out how to turn the crosshair on. Something I was complaining vehemently about earlier. Turned out, do you know what you do? You go into the console and you type crosshair one, and uh, the crosshair turns on. Where are they coming from? These incorporeal shots. They're also disappearing to nowhere as well, I've come up with notice. Nice. Again, I'm going to use as many of these um, rockets as I can, because they are really good. <laughs> and now we need the, the accuracy of the nail gun. See? Now I've got plenty of shots left. The inaccuracy of the... Why are you weird? The inaccuracy of the, the the grenade launcher here is 
counterproductive to killing these ghostly thingies. Do you know what? We should save it once in a while. The Tomb of Terror. Is that where we are? Yes. I know what the word is, okay? You don't have to correct me all the time. You do that. Just watch them. I never noticed that that um, zombie seems to be immune to the melee effect of the knight. So basically, don't try fighting zombies with swords. You heard it here first. That is a weak source sword, <laughs> considering. Right, we haven't got very many rockets left now, although there are some over here for me to half inch. So let's um, maybe do this with the shotgun. What sort of noise was that? <laughs> What's happening? Why do you fire so fast? It's not funny. Leave me alone. Right, good. We're going to get a bugged out jumpy thingy. When we do this. So let's just do that. 106? No. Let's use this. It's more, is that great enough? Okay. And then uh, I'm tempted to ignore these, but let's, uh, let's not. Just for completion's sake. Secret's one of two, so there's another one somewhere. Might as well take this, because we're going to come back into here. And so now we know where we are. We're up here, and we can hone you guys running around the old-fashioned way. Oh, and you've already started fighting you, which is basically what I wanted to happen. Different target, but same idea. Woo! Not me. Him. Alright, you're... Uh, excuse me? <laughs> So you're attacking me, but that one's attacking. Okay. Where's the grenade? It's up there. Okay. <laughs> Too much spread. Wasting shot. <laughs> I hate not being able to see where the grenades have landed. Splash damage does not fill me with any more confidence. Oh, confidence. About that. Right. Let's get this out. This is going to help me with that loser. Where are you? Oh, where are you? Did I get you? When did when did this show up? Did I get that before? Must have done. Cool. Thank you. Push this button. Oh, that hurt. I don't know if this is just a case of legging it because yeah, that was easy. Should have just done that. There's more HP to fix you than like is. <laughs> you might as well just use the HP to fix you and tank the damage is basically what I'm trying to say here because it's quite generous with this HP. But being on nightmare mode. It's still on nightmare mode, right? Don't know. Does it tell me? Skill 3. You'll tell me if that's nightmare mode. I think it might yet be. Enough with these. <laughs> you know I can beat them. Stop testing my metal against their metal. Metal Mario. Metal Gario. Hey Gary, watch my <laughs> watch my videos. Super Gary. Hi. I don't remember this. I don't know if I got this far <laughs> when I first played this game. This is all new stuff to me. Okay. <laughs> Just sort of whacking walls in the off on, on the off chance in the hopes that they'll do something. Being runes. Oh, they opened just not how I expected them to. That was extremely painful help. Okay. Travel time on the nails makes it kind of difficult to uh, strafe them. Like that. All right, all right, all right. Let's play your way. I will chuck bouncy things through the gaps. Pixel perfect accuracy that was not available in 1990-whatever when Quake came out. At some point, we're going to get through 1990s games. We're going to find ourselves stuck playing games that came out since the millennium began. Since the year 2000. In case you weren't clear what I meant by the millennium began. Well, maybe I was giving you an off-by-one nonsense. Because obviously... 
We do like to uh, mess around with numbers of years by not having a year zero. And therefore everything starts from the one of the previous thing instead of the zero of the current thing. <gasps> the next thing. You know what I mean. Does the millennium start in 2000 is the question I'm asking you. Ow! I can see you up there. Let's just do this. I should probably do. Stop. You're not big and you're not clever. Well, you're kind of big. Certainly not clever. Just one of you? Can I get up there? there might be something. Hmm. The place I'd like to be able to get to. I've only found one secret. What do you think? Are we done? <laughs> Should we try and find it? I'm just getting over a cold. So I, I hope that it's not too apparent in my voice, which may be croaky. This is a small level. Um, but, you know, croaky voices is as croaky voices does. And that only the only secret so far was just in the water there. It seems a little bit clear and obvious. I don't know. Just running through it again to see if there's any sort of apparent ceiling shapes or, or wall decorations or something like that that will give me a clue that maybe I need to press something or shoot something. Give it a once over. I'm always happy to give it a sort of a once over with the uh, secret finding, but not, not more than not more than once. Such a weird effect. How long does this stay up? Because it wasn't long enough last time. As soon as I stepped on it, it went down. Yeah, there we go. One of them hit me. Two of them hit me. I'm very upset. Like, they actually hurt quite a lot as well. Okay. There's nothing there. It must be up here. Can we get on that? Do do do. Hello. I clipped through the levels rather than just god-moding it. It seemed perfectly allowable to me. I hope you agree. Not not these ones. I wanted to play through the start of this chapter, obviously, so that I had at least a, a, a representative amount of HP and ammo when, when I started recording again. So I think I've done that. I... There's nothing here. <laughs> Who cares? I kind of wish that they had sort of a here's what you could have won sort of effect. Um, at the end of the level, so it's, it doesn't just say, here are your secrets. Well, I guess if you played it through again, you'd want to find the secrets yourself. There should be a spoilers mode where it tells you the secrets that you missed. But there isn't. Uh, let's save it here. We've got time to go a little bit further, but not too much further, I think. Hello! Bang! Why did you take so many shotgun shots? Why you no die quick? Don't like this. <laughs> I don't want this to happen anymore. Go away. Wow, good shot, me. I mean, the crosshair is helping, but the uh, the ballistics of these grenades doesn't necessarily mean that the crosshair is that accurate. I hope we're recording well. I didn't actually check the recording, so I apologise if this has not been the greatest episode back. Um, I, I had to reset basically everything. Everything that I knew was wrong. My, my whole life had been restarted. You're gonna go up? You are gonna go up. You're gonna try and kill me as soon as I get up here? You're not. What's this? A second teleporter? Is that the co op teleport? This door is opened elsewhere. You don't say. Because that's the exit. <laughs> Alright. In we go. I'm gonna save it here because I can't be bothered killing those again. Open sesame? How do you work? Timer, maybe? Kill all fish. Good thing you don't need to eat in these games. They're not... Although you might consider them to be survival games, it's definitely survival against adversaries rather than survival <laughs> against... It's not PvE, it's PV enemies. So yeah, PvE, but... It's not player versus you're gonna run out of... Food. <laughs> player versus you're gonna run out of health. Are there any such games? I'm sure there must be. There must be a genre where they've sort of combined the whole concept of uh, 
an actual survival game where you have to uh, manage your resources correctly, i.e. food, thirst, sleep, etc., with the concept of um, a first-person shooter. I mean, even... I can't think of any game that I know that does that. It doesn't mean there aren't any, and it doesn't mean that any there are are bad just because I haven't heard of them. It certainly doesn't mean to suggest that. They could be better than any game I've ever played. If you know of one, feel free to tell me. Because I want to play it. <laughs> there we go. Right. So we are back in business. There's nothing left to shoot. Right. I can hear something, but it'll be... I'll find it. Full HP. Nice. I think we're surviving quite well here. I do appreciate the fact that it gives you the opportunity to just get everything. Obviously there's stuff gated behind doors like this, but... Um, I spent the time to launch grenades in at things that I didn't want to fight, and they died, so... Thank you for letting me do that. I see cells. Do that. And give me this. Nope. Ha. Ha. I don't necessarily want to use my super nail gun by default right here. I've got 100 nails for it, but... That's HP. That's okay. No. Okay. I understand. You don't have to punish me by making me go all this way and making everybody watch it. Uh, the the little gasp at the start when you breathe in deeply when you've been underwater is a little bit too lifelike, <laughs> to be honest with you. The uh, sounds we've got going on. Excuse me, did you just jump off of there to try and get me? Do not appreciate that. It's not allowed. Why can't I pick these up? I haven't got... No, I haven't accidentally impulse nined myself into all the uh, weapons, but for some reason I have full cells. I don't remember picking up any cells at all. What is that noise? Accurate weapon is much nicer in some situations than the floundering and blustering of... Foolishness, wait. There's some more here. I also see this. Which I can jump on. Okie dokie. Honestly, I thought that I was going to have to push that button to make that happen. But this, presumably... Hello! Just use these. That's fine. Sometimes, getting out of a situation is m worth way more than the ammunition that you spend on doing so. Let me out now? Yeah, you, you have to jump on. Okay. It wasn't just that. Do -do -do. Probably time for a save scum. If you don't mind me. I tried to trigger a, a thing, but it didn't trigger. <laughs> Feel free to clip through the button. It's okay too. Thank you for giving me the tools to get out of the situation you put me in as a result of picking up a tool. I don't need to use this. I've been playing enough Minecraft that I just want to sneak to walk to the edge of this. But that ain't how it works. I think... Do we just fall? I don't know. I'm reluctant to. Floaty bridges. No, no pushy. Push the magic button. Push the magic button. Where are we going? You just stop there for me. Excuse me. No. No, bad. Bad, I said. <laughs> no, load the game. This was easy. Help. <laughs> None of this. Less of this. Is all not within the operational parameters of my acceptance. Right, so we shoot this bugger with a simple shotgun because it's cheaper. Probably grenade this loser. I think I'm just going to jump on here now. Is that everything? No more explosions? 
I don't want to fall too far. You're trying to hit me from there. Um, use the cheaper nail gun. I don't want to waste too many nails because they're so valuable to get out of a, a really sticky situation. I haven't got rockets, by the way. If I'm in a particularly bothersome situation... Also, I should go down there and clear it out. No doubt there is plenty of stuff in there waiting for me. No! <laughs> you, how? Your AI is not that clever. That was a fluke. It's a fluke and a half if ever I've seen one. You dead yet? Where's this joker? Give me some rockets up in this grill. Hey, what? Come back. <laughs> Bye! I do believe the lift just pushed that dude off the edge. I'm going to save it here because I can. And then I'm going to jump in there. See what happens. See if I don't. Kind of expecting to be accosted by fish. Rather than just a, an inspiring teleporter that gets you out of the space. There's a lot of teleporters like that in Doom as far as I remember. Another one of them. Plenty of these moving platforms, actually. They're all over the place. Ah! <laughs> can I even get that up there? No, but I can get this up there. Did that dead you? Nice. What is this for? This seems like a thing. <laughs> seems important. Hello. Did you hear that? I heard that. No! No, 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 no. You don't get to be that good a shot. Absolutely not. Only I can be this good of a shot. Because I am the player. Hello? Got ya. Got ya. I'm not going to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful. All right. Wait for this thing. Let's watch. Are we going? Let's go. Let's go. Get our rocket launcher out, because this thing up here is going to show itself, no doubt. No doubt! Okay, I'm not going to use it anymore. <laughs> there you are. I got squished! That's not right. It's just not right. We know what's down there. Nothing. So, let's just go with what we were doing just now. I'd like you not to leave quite so abruptly. If it's all right with you, can you please come back? Because I want to get on the, the lift. It's going to be a right royal pain. What's my phone doing? Phone says it's Kane. Kane, future Kane, I need you to know that past Kane, who sent a message about Discord bot writing was not a welcome message. Nor was it a welcome message. Managed. Haha, <laughs> mischief managed. Future Kane, everything is forgiven. Worry not. Help. Right, that looks okay. That's easy mode back up there. Or is that easy mode back down here? So that we can get back on the lift. All right, let's wait another 20 minutes for the lift. It's like the buses. Except they don't all come at once, they just never arrive in the first place. Come on, come on. I'll be the saying goodbye. And we've done that bit, and we're here, and boring, and are we there yet, Mum? Do I really have to go this way? Can I not just jump down there? Probably can do. That was nice of it. If I'd known that was a thing, I would have just done that thing. Nice. I know you have stuff for me, but... <laughs> this room. Why? Why are you a room? Okay, that goes when you shoot it. What is happening? <laughs> what is this place? Why? I have to wait. Uh, again. And that zombie thing is being an annoying, noisy pest. We're going to have to shoot my rockets when we come around the corner. Because oh, I see. Is now a vertical thing. You're going to be able to hit me. Oh, no. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> Can we go from A to B? Yes, that's fine. 
Well, this has turned out to be easy when you start paying attention and stop just faffing around and being a burke about it. I don't need everything that's in there, so I'm not going to go back and rediscover everything. Please don't let that lava be an issue. If this was a real lift, I would be in a great deal of trouble right now. That was extremely painful. <laughs> um, I didn't save it. Oh, fiddlesticks. Nice. Help. I'm stuck. <laughs> I want to be stuck. That's not... Hmm. I've got a few bits for doing that, but we still have to wait for this lift again. Oh, it's here. Hello. Right, nice and slowly. Don't make any sudden moves. Except do be a little bit quicker about the moves that you are making. And then... Just shoot that. <laughs> I wish that one was the case with this joker as well. Oh, nearly missed. Good. And push the button. I do have to hit it. Why can't why can't I just think ahead a little bit, stand on the thing, and then hit the button? Now I have to wait. Luckily not too long. Because we've been here before. And we're all a little bit sick of it. Let's Get on with it. Please. I didn't have to wait because I could just gone through the teleporter. Whee! And we'll use you and boom and everyone's dead. Alright. This is the hard bit, of course, because now we have to go up here and not die when that door opens with only 49 nails. <laughs> not on your Nelly, me old China plate. I'm very pleased that that one is attacking like that one. Okay, we managed. <laughs> Miss Chief managed. And yeah, like, what sort of gamer would I be if I didn't expect another one around the corner that was just waiting for me? Instead of aggroing me with everybody else. I mean, none of their tactics has really... It's hard to say. Would you say that their tactics are working? Because... On the one hand, oh my god, help. Let me out. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> um, on the one hand, you have um, killed me many times over. But on the other hand, if I'm even remotely prepared for any of your shenanigans, you rarely get to injure me at all. And then you go and leave all this HP lying around so that even when you do manage to injure me, by the way, what the heck am I supposed to do here? Pretty sure the door closed behind me, so I was trapped in a room with a shambler, but I didn't notice because obviously I was walking backwards, wondering what was going on, rather than turning around, knowing what was going on. I I can't beat this shambler like this. Because the first thing it's gonna do is kill me. Yes. Let's leave that episode there. No, oh, I'm spitted. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's very dirty. Let's leave that episode there because this is too hard. We'll come back uh, when I've had a nice sleep because it's quite late at night. I'm going to bed. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry that this series had been on such a hiatus because of all the reasons that I made excuses for earlier on. And I'm going to continue recording very soon. So see you then.